Hello and welcome AVG News viewers and subscribers. My name is Mkoli Singube and I'm here to respond to Zimbabwe exemption permit uh, applicants who are trying to move from the ZEP to mainstream South African permits. Uh, this follows questions that have been asked uh, relating to how somebody can do police clearance. So this is what I'm going to respond to. But may I request you to first of all subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it. Uh, the question that we have been asked is, how can somebody uh, get police clearance while they are based here in South Africa? If there is a way that they can get police clearance, do they have to do that here in South Africa? Or they can have uh, this done, or they have to travel to Zimbabwe to have this done? Uh, what you need to do is, if you are based in South Africa and cannot travel to Zimbabwe where you need to go and get the police clearance, there are three options available for you. The first option uh, is for you to go to the nearest police station here in South Africa, get your fingerprints done, send them to Zimbabwe to a relative, or you can courier them to Harare because that is where these fingerprints are going to be processed and a police clearance issued. So you can either send via a relative that you trust who can then take them to Harare or via uh, courier services straight to Harare and then they will process the fingerprints there and then send you the police clearance. Uh, the second option would be for you to go to the consulate uh, here in South Africa, the Zimbabwean consulate, which is if you are based uh, in Houting, it is in Edenvale, uh, and then you go there, you have your fingerprints taken, get those fingerprints, send them home to a relative or via a courier services for so that they can be processed and a police clearance issued. If you have been here since the last permit or have not traveled to Zimbabwe for more than 12 months, you have an option of applying for the fingerprints uh, provision or for the police clearance provision in Zimbabwe to be wavered because you have not been there for, a, for some bit of time. And then you can apply for a waiver uh, in terms of the fingerprints because you have not been to Zimbabwe for that length of time. So this is the third option. You can apply for a waiver of the requirements for police clearance in Zimbabwe. In that uh, instance, it can be waivered or you may be told to do your fingerprints here in South Africa, which is where you have been uh, all along, if that's the case. So I hope I have responded to you uh, in, a in, in, a, in a satisfactory manner and this is going to assist you uh, if you have any other questions that you would want us to respond to, especially in as far as the Zimbabwe exemption permits applications are concerned, you are free to send us those questions via the comment section under this video and we will respond to you as soon as we get that response because in there are certain areas where we may not have a ready response and we're going to call the VFS Global uh, line and then whatever response they give us, we are going to send it back to you. So please do subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day.